In this video, we're going to make an Osborg style Viking chest, so called Vikings. Okay, these things were absolute genius design, they truly, truly were. So, we're going to break this video up into three parts. So, one, we're going to do the construction of the box. Second, we're going to do the carving and finishing of the box. And third, we're going to talk about the box. So that'll happen over about the next four weeks tops. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel, you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. For ease of watching, I've just drawn up the plans for this particular project. Let's check them out. Right, with the, um, the Osborg chest, I find it easier, and my personal preference is to, um, to glue the boards together first and then start to work the sides and cut the front and the back and so on. Alrighty, let's go. Very simple white Sikaflex uh, glue. It's a PVA type glue, but it is also suitable for interior and exterior use. So it does resist moisture and so on. And um, oh, I find it really useful for these sorts of chests for medieval events. One very important uh, part that I'll mention right now. It is actually really important to understand guys that I know a lot of you really like to make all your chests and your furniture out of oak. Oak has a very high amount of tannic acid in it. What that means is it creates the tannin process, which you may have heard of. Also the same in some of the eucalypt trees and so on, but more so with oak. And what that does is it causes iron to rust. What that means is that if you make one of these fabulous Osborg type chests and so on, uh, what will happen is all of your medieval gear that goes inside it, your sacks, your knife, your sword, your cloak clasps and all that kind of gear will rust and it only takes a few weeks to do because of the, this high amount of tannic acid. Um, I really like pine for that reason. Uh, it's very low in tannic acid. It's very easy to work with uh, and it gives you such a great finish. So let's get going. Don't go crazy with this glue. Uh, but you do need enough. You want to get a good Purchase. Some people really like to use uh, pegs, like the dowel pegs and stuff. I personally haven't found that to be necessary as yet. Alright, so for those of you who are interested, this is um, 235 millimeters wide, each of these um, uh, planks, so to speak and 19 millimeters in thickness and 1.8 meters in length. Alrighty guys, we're going to leave that to dry for a couple of hours and then we'll come back and start marking it out and start cutting. Uh, just using up a little bit of scrap wood here 
making the uh, the base piece the correct size and then I'm going to leave this to dry overnight and then we'll come back and get it finished off in the morning radio so these are the pieces that we have um, right now we have the the two ends which you can see furthest away we have the two sides and the hardware on the left hand side we have um, the lid and the base now what we're going to do is we're going to cut a hole in the two end pieces that is the two that are furthest away from us uh, so that the base can slide into it we'll understand that more in a few minutes had to remake one of these boards I wasn't quite happy with the way the other one came out that's okay so we're just going to trim off some edges here So now's a pretty good time just to do a bit of a dry assembly. Still a little bit of cutting to do, but that's okay. I just want to make sure that I've got everything quite the way that I want it to be. Um, so these two sides are just going to sit in the side roughly like so. So there's a little bit more work I've got to do just to make sure I've got everything quite where I want it to be, but that's okay. The next thing I want to do is cut out a section just in here, um, just to allow the bottom board through. Because the uh, the ends are going to be at a considerable angle, it's just a bit difficult for me to guesstimate what that's going to look like with a uh, a jigsaw. I, I don't have the the proper saw to, to use. I'm now going to use a circular saw and I'm going to adjust the angle of the blade so that it cuts at tw about 20 degrees. Now I'm just going to work my way around the board. We've got the two ends on, this is just dry assembly right now and now we're going to uh, put the two side pieces into position. Right, so we now have uh, our box assembled. Um, we're just going to put a little bit of uh, furniture on. So I can't get hold of the traditional iron nails just at the moment. So we've had to use 
modern nails and temporarily some modern screws. Righto guys, that's the end of the build. Everything's done. Everything's come out pretty well. Not perfect. A little bit disappointed, but that's okay. Uh, it's a learning experience for everybody. And we're all learning here, that's okay. In the next uh, 10 days or so, we'll be doing the carving. And following on from that, we'll be doing the finishing and talking about the, uh, the sea chest. Uh, any tips or comments, please leave them below. Keep it friendly. And um, well, I really hope you got something out of today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.